What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lee Adam Coolest at African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to talk about a few series is, 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 that ended abruptly. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with the original series end. I'm going to watch Legacies. I'm not going to be a hater. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like the way Vampire Diaries ended. Didn't like the way the originals ended. I still continued. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> still continued. Just that keeps following the pattern of vampire shows, yo. True Blood ended the same way where the vampire, the main vampire, had to die for everybody to have amazing lives. Like, all the bad things start happening as soon as that main vampire died. Start having kids and all that jazz. Same thing. This time they just doubled it up <laughs> in the original. Still a phenomenal show. Hope I, I'm looking forward to what you see. But they could have just made her father probably in caged or some shit like that. A lock. Ah oh, man. They couldn't have just given you such a likable moment. The dude was willing to low key let hope die. Dog. <laughs> like that was the one of the messed up moments and like God damn, what did Caroline, that woman that plays Caroline, what did she do to the writers? They keep giving a dude to kill themselves. God damn, but she got a type. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna miss Klaus and Elijah. I mean, like, you can just rewatch all four or five seasons and Vampire Diaries. It's that they, they both ended so badly for me, you know, like, it's not unique. It's not, like, breathtaking. It's like a sword coming. It's what I expected to happen and it happened. You know, that's why I'm not impressed. Uh, but it's still a phenomenal show. I loved all five seasons of it. Minus the last episode. Had some interesting takes. Like this one question, the woman that plays Rebecca, what was with her and not being able to like be a, a vital, like a valuable part of the show? Kept on bouncing in and out so many times. A bunch, a, a bunch of them actually kept on doing that, like bouncing in and out. Thing. <sighs> Just, it was weird. Ah, another show we can talk about right now is. Let me see. Succession. Woo! One of the best new shows out right now. HBO done did it. This was a great show. Like, yo, it wasn't recommended to me, but, like, as soon as I touched it, I couldn't let it go. Like, like I just saw that thing two episodes down, it was renewed, and I was like, I had to see why, and then HBO kind of never disappoints, and I was never disappointed. Kendall, obviously, was my favorite character. And, uh, Greg, I think that's what his name is. That dude from, that old Disney dude, you know what I'm saying? That, that kid who came from... Humble beginning, so he worked at that fair. And the way he was working, he had such an innocence to him, but he was ruthless at the same time. Even Kendall saw it like, I see you, I see you, Greg. That was an amazing like character development. Like, he kept on having this innocence to him, but he was ruthless to it. His sister and brother, one of them, the younger one, they also were like ruthless. It's like, it's like the show. Beat, bad, like beat, beats dynasty, and I never thought that like dynasty, like li seeing how rich people, the one percent live, you know, saying the rules they obey by, just paying people off, giving watches, this that, like they just live another life, it's like seeing how they live actually beat dynasty, cause it had some rawness to it, probably because of CW censorship. Dynasty comes out as a telenovela more than a hard-hitting drama. Shows phenomenal. The father, he had some scars and some damaged things. Like he kept on saying, if my uncle or like father, I think, heard you speak like that to him, you wouldn't speak another way or illy, like illy. You wouldn't speak ill again towards him. And he had like scars and everything. Like this family is so messed up. I've never seen like such like a chess game between family members. It was phenomenal. That ending, let's talk about the ending. The wedding a lot went down. Uh, the sister, she gonna bring out to her husband that she wants an open relationship just there. But he still 
Ride or die. Respect, nigga. <laughs> um, other brother in that uh, space shuttle blew up. That was also another moment. He just acted like he didn't know. Oh. There were so many character moments in the final. Thing. Then Kendall had, and his father had the biggest one when Kendall, you know, was involved in a car going underwater and the run and leading to one of the caterers dying. That dude just had the worst day ever. He was yelled at like a child in front of everybody. And on top of that, then he dies. Everybody, Kendall was so self destructive, y'all, with his ex wife. The only person, I feel like the only people he's kind of good with with his kids and he's kind of bad for them too. But he's a great dad sometimes. <laughs> like, yo, this show, yo. Also, the wife of his father, that woman, is low-key shady as hell. Like, I thought she was like the most innocent person out of all of them. But, yo, she's showing her true colors to the puppet. It's a crazy show. The older brother and... And the prostitute girlfriend is also a weird dynamic. Just a lot of weird things happen in the show. Like so many. But let's talk about the finale, that conversation they had. They took time with it. But that showed who these two characters are in that small moment. Son just went through something so tragic and something he probably will regret for the rest of his life. Probably took him to such a down spiral after a big ass win. Ah, oh, self-destructive Kendall. <laughs> the big ass win, he does that to himself. <sighs> then he went on the dark path after that. Mm, this is phenomenal, I'll give it like... Legit a 9 out of 10, it's phenomenal. Pacing is great, the cinematography, the editing, the casting. Oh my god, it's fantastic. Just that they didn't answer a lot of the questions I had. That's why I didn't give it full marks. Another thing I'll talk about right now is the Netflix series. Well, Channel 4 series. I saw Channel 4. Now it's on Netflix. You should check it out. It's Kiss Be First. Yo, the show's fire. The show, especially after watching like Ready Player One. I watched it before Ready Player One, then I watched it again after Ready Player One. Understand the intricacies and interesting parts of VR. Like, goddamn, this was amazing. Shadow Fox and everybody involved. It's just amazing. I hope they continue with the show. First, I thought they were like legit killing off every single person who was allowed in that oasis. That secret underground place in the VR. And it was all part of this dude's plan. Then he made everybody blame Shadow Fox. Shadow Fox, that, that black girl, I forgot her name for some reason. But I thought Shadow Fox loved her. Then she ended up loving the roommate dude. But then the roommate dude didn't know he was working for the other dude. He hated and she hated him. Didn't realize some best friend type of shit. Like, ah, oh, it's so mindfuckery. Like, you should really check out the show. Like, that moment where he has Shadow Fox and she's like in this digital state, but her real body. Oh, man. And the way people, the way some of them look so lifelike to their avatars, and the way some of them chose who they want to be, it was just beautiful, man. And all of Oh, there were really suicidal kids. Surely check it out. I didn't really put it like greatly because I haven't watched it in a long ass time. I probably will watch it again if it gets renewed. I promise you. I'm gonna do a better review for the show, but really check it out. I'm just talking about it so you check it out. Legit, give it like an 8 out of 10. There were some moments like that. That was just so slow, you know what I'm saying? The build up so slow that when it happened, it was like, ha, ah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, ah, oh, like it was still great, but there were some build up moments that just made it 
they were just unnecessary to the way it ended. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Anyway, deuces.